Today, we'll be looking at skincare products. Where do you get them in Lithuania? But also, makeup products for dark skin people. Where do we find them? When I moved to Lithuania in 2015, we could not find where to buy makeup for dark skin people. And also, skincare was such a big thing. Like, what skincare do you use? What works for you? And it took so many years for me to figure that out. And that's what I'll be sharing with you in this video. Items I'll be sharing with you are affordable. So, this is not going to be a break your bank. Uh, kind of skincare video so i know that some of you are interested in that so sit down and let's get right into it so we're gonna be starting with skincare before we go into makeup okay so first things first with skincare i think there are so many videos on skincare there are so many products when it comes to skincare and it can be challenging to to identify which one works for you especially when you come to a new country a new country that they don't have the same skin tone as yours or the same like uh, skin layers as yours it can be difficult to know what products you should buy in that country but i'll be sharing with you as well what i've found in the last uh, nine years living in Lithuania and what products that I use now also with that I would also be doing unboxing of the products that I've got for the winter season okay there we go so let's start first with my skincare I use like six products all together I mean from my face to my toe okay so let's start with my face in the morning I shower two times a day all the time and I wash my face obviously two times a day when I when I shower so moisture I find to be the most important thing for my skin type my skin type is sensitive to dry if your skin is not moisturized if your skin doesn't have enough like liquid going on into it it dries out and when it dries out it gives you itching okay so let's start with my face what do i actually use on my face okay and i'm using i'm currently having this video in not natural lighting but i have something that's me makes natural lighting i don't have a lot of light in my room right now and the weather is also dark all right so the first thing that i use for my face is facial wash and i'm using this neutrogena product okay and it's the hydro boost water gel cleanser it's fragrance free and it it says that it gently cleanses to remove makeup and dirt clinically tested to be gentle on even the most sensitive skin so uh for me like i said i have sensitive skin so for me it is very important to look at this type of products i always look for products that is good for sensitive skin so this is the one that i'm using now and actually my sister-in-law she's the one that recommended this one for me and it's been very very good she has glass skin to the max and she uses mostly hydro boost products and so i found that neutrogena they have very good products but their hydro boost collection works really really well for me i don't know it just leaves my skin very moisturized so from time to time i do scrub my face i scrub my face maybe twice or three times a week and then on, on the days that i have makeup just to kind of uh cleanse all those things out so if i'll be scrubbing my face this is the scrub that i use but uh, i'm not particular on the type of scrub the main things that i scrub my face okay i've used so many other kind of scrubs and to be honest it doesn't really I don't like i don't see the big difference it doesn't matter the scrub the main thing is that i scrub or you can buy any other kind of scrub any scrub from the from druggers or any store in the market okay and you can try different scrubs and see what works for you and if you're a student and you don't have money to buy scrub you can literally use towel or okay? fine towel i think the best towels that i find are from ikea they are not too harsh they are not too soft but they help to break down you know those white heads that kind of get into your pores here and here some of the soap on the towel like this and you use it to scrub your face that can also act as a scrub if i'm doing that today and to be honest i find the towel to work really really well for me all right after the scrub what i do is to cleanse my skin okay with toner for me toner is such a must i don't know at the time that i'm not used toner i don't know i've not i've just not been able to I don't know i just feel like there's death on my face so i guess it's just a habit that i have now i'm currently using this eugenicin uh if that's even the pronunciation toner this is what i've been using for a couple of months now so that's what i use i just you know put it on the pad and i use it to gently like clean my face i really like this much uh, uh toner it has a little bit of oil i think it has some it has some glycerin it has something that kind of slides on my skin that i really really like uh compared to some other toners that i've used that kind of dries out my skin and i don't like that so this one still leaves my skin a bit supple and then once i finish um much uh cleansing my face with the toner once i finish toning my face the next thing that i use is this product 
I know that all of you know this product by now because it is everywhere on the internet. Again, my sister-in-law is the one that recommended this product for me. And I've been using it for, I don't like almost a year now, to be honest. Guys, this product actually lasts if you're not like popping a lot. It lasts. I usually have like one or two pumps uh, the day. And this, this is actually what I have right now on my face. I don't have any other products right now. That's what I have on my face. I just put that uh, and massage it gently to my skin. Let me put a little bit more because you know what? It doesn't actually hurt to have more on your skin, okay? Oh Lord, it doesn't hurt to have more. But oh my God, okay. Yeah, so this is what I have on my skin right now. Oh God, oh God. I am not doing it like the skincare girls because this is not what it's about. This is about actually what I'm using and what works. Okay, so make sure to get your under eye because that is so important. We always forget that bit. All right. So once I put that on, I let it to dry. And this thing actually leaves your skin very like, very supple. It has like a little bit of, um, not a lot stickiness, but it has a bit of stickiness to it. So that means that your skin is enjoying that moisture in your skin. So another thing that I use is my Nutri, this is not Nutri, this is Nivea. The Nivea uh, Q10 Energy Healthy Glow Day care spf 15 i use this one this one already has spf so that's one of the reasons that i use this one because to be honest i cannot be bothered a lot with putting cream and then putting more cream so yeah anyway so this is what i use on my skin for morning okay i use this in the morning like right now i will be heading out later on so i need to put some skin some some cream on my face so that's what i use i use this one and then one thing that i started to notice is that having um having cream so much on your face like plastered all the way like this it's actually nice <laughs> it actually looks nice and it keeps i feel like it does um it spreads out the cream better than if you had like one pop here and here so you're yeah. sure to get your under eye i know they're under eye creams i used to use them uh, i still have even but i don't use them often so i'm not adding it to this video so yeah but you can absolutely have your under eye cream or just get a cream that is very moisturizing like one of the reasons that i like this one is again is it has spf it's also quite moisturizing also very very moisturizing so that's one of the reasons that i like this uh nivea cream and it doesn't have like a bad smell it doesn't have any strong smell for me i don't really like smell i don't like products that smell a lot i'm very i don't know if it's my sensitive nose as well but i don't like things that give me a lot of scent like something you put on your skin is like smelling so good I don't really like this thing so yeah so after i use that in the night i use my hydro boost again neutrogena hydro boost L cream this one is also very moisturizing this is what it looks like inside i use this one neutrogena their hydro boost has like different collection but yeah so i use this one at night and i use the nivea one that has spf in the morning okay so those are the things that i literally use on my face and i just let it sit sometimes if i want to put makeup then i'm putting makeup and obviously primer and so on on my face but other than that that's literally all i use on my face and it works i don't have anything and i think one thing with skincare is if you're stressed it's going to show up on your face it's going to show up on your skin and right now with the kind of work i'm doing i'm a, like it's stressful and again with all the things going on as well i i think my my skin is not resting enough and so you might like you might see a lot of spots if you're not resting enough if you're tired or also if it's that time of the month when your periods are coming your skin can also have like a little bit of breakouts and stuff like that so but i think the main thing is keeping your skin moisturized and taking care of it as you go and i think also what's important is drinking enough water when it comes to skincare i mean you already know this but drinking water helps to have like a better skin also the other day i was washing my pillows and someone was asking me why do you wash your pillows i think for me i find that washing my pillow in fact i don't know but it's just like washing your clothes right if you've been using the pillow for a long time maybe it might be nice to wash it so those are some of the things that i find that help me eating healthy eating like nice things eating less sugar i see that that also helps me to kind of have a good skin without using too much product okay because truly these products are not cheap and i don't want to be paying a lot on my skincare i want to invest the money more into what i'm eating on the inside and what so that my skin can like I don't have to do too much, right? Because I truly don't like to do too much when it comes to skincare. I need to, I need to keep it simple. And I think that's one thing with skincare. If it's not simple, it gets complicated and then I don't do it. Okay. If it gets complicated, that's it. I'm out. I'm out. So, so now going to my body, uh, my body, I use shower gel. Okay. I'm going to show you the shower gel that I got in the order that I packed because it's winter and I'm already buying things for winter. 
season but other than that i do use my CeraVe i use my CeraVe uh moisturizing cream i think that this cream is moisturizing like it doesn't like it doesn't do anything for me i used to use biodema la roche posay before but i've been using this CeraVe and i've not really paid attention if it's doing anything but it keeps my skin moisturized so I guess there's nothing there's no big deal for me on that one i always use my CeraVe with vaseline or i think i've showed in my video so what i do i usually put like a little bit of this cream on my on my palm or uh, the back of my palm and then i pour a little bit of the of the oil of this oil mix it and then rub on my skin i don't put either of them individually i don't put the CeraVe cream individually because it's not that moisturizing for me and I don't put the Vaseline on, on its own because it is too oily for me. <laughs> so I need to mix it to have that balance. And that's literally all I use on my skin. From time to time, I do scrub my skin. This is the scrub that I use. I do scrub my skin uh, once or twice a week. And one thing that is important is this hand scrub okay this scrub i think since i started to use this scrubs like diligently i've seen like my skin even out even better like hyperpigmentations here and there has really really helped i use this maybe like once every two days other than that i use my the regular sponge on all the days that i don't use this one but i find that this really really breaks down my skin even if you don't have scrub like obviously scrub is better because it just leaves your skin feeling better and it makes you happy like it makes me happy every time i scrub but if you don't have that you can absolutely use this one okay you can use this one and the scrub that i'm currently using it smells so good i like that scrub very much so yeah so this is the body scrub that i use this is probably the only thing that has like the strongest smell in all my skincare products okay but it smells very good it is also not harsh it's not a harsh uh, scrub at all and i use this maybe like like I said, once or every or twice every week, depending. If I went out a lot, then I'll use it more because then all the dirt and all the things are clogged on my skin, I just use it to wash it away. But yeah, those are literally the things that I use on my skin. Another thing that I use for my armpit is this Garnier Invisible Protection, Garnier Mineral Invisible Protection for eight hours. I use it, this one as well does not have any smell. like. It has a bit a bit of smell like a little bit of scent but nothing heavy okay nothing heavy sometimes i use like the the sh you know the spray one and sometimes i don't use anything at all it, li it literally depends sometimes i want to have it sometimes i don't want to have it but it doesn't make a big difference for me if i'm gonna be out for a long time then for me it's very very important that i use the roll-on on my armpits so other than that guys those are the things that i use for my skincare i don't use a lot of things like i said <laughs> well i said i don't use a lot of things but it's like six and for and for spf if i'm gonna use spf for my body i use the the la roche posay spf which is sps 50 okay sometimes i put it on my face if it's summer i still put this one on my face with my nivea cream if it's like right now i can use this one on my body and just use my facial cream as i go out so yeah guys so let's unbox some of the things that i got because the things that i got are for skincare let's unbox, unbox, unbox. have you seen a more chaotic video than this uh oh there we go when i open the box this is what i have inside here i got my new i got my new soap for the winter season okay this is the shower gel i'll be using i don't know why it's so liquidy okay that is very strange because i've used this before many times and it wasn't this liquid i'm a bit worried but anyway that's what i'll be using i'll let you know how that is going hopefully in a vlog or something but one thing that i like about biodema and la roche posay and some other like products that i get from the pharmacy not from the pharmacy you can get this from the pharmacy or the regular store is that it's also good for kids it's also good for family so that's usually where i advise because it's good if it's good for kids then it better be good for me because i'm a child of god yeah so anyway this is what i got this is one of the things that is in my box right now and it's for the winter i got the shampoo i got shampoo and conditioner from this brand okay that's what i got over here because i wanted to try some new conditioner for my hair and then i got myself some toothpaste i'm trying oral b as well i'm trying this oral b toothpaste for the first time uh this particular one so i'm hoping that is good because i've been trying to i wanted to try something new okay 24 hours protection and yeah i'm looking forward to it this one is the one that i got i always try to change up my toothpaste every time i don't i don't use the same toothpaste so my sister is saying that she doesn't use my sister is a nurse and she said that we should not be using cotton pads uh, in our ear 
but I still use it because I don't know I feel like I can't function sometimes if I don't clean my ear like maybe it's water I don't know but I have to clean it but she said that we shouldn't be using it it's not heavy so let me know guys do you use this cotton pad or not yeah so anyway that's what I have in the package that I ordered I'm definitely missing my body cream because my uh, CeraVe product is almost finished and I did order it so I have to check why it's not there or if they've refunded me all right so those are the things that i use for my skincare now when it comes to makeup my makeup products i will show you i ordered my makeup product from the same company that i ordered this product and this company is called notino notino.lt okay it, they have a website like you can find everything from uh from your primer to your eyeshadow you can literally buy everything even your skin tone foundation because i think that's the biggest one not all the brands on their websites have darker shades but for example my foundation i got the, my foundation from there this is my makeup bag <laughs> all right so for my foundation i got the, this fit me foundation i got this fit me foundation from this notino but i actually the reason that i got fit me was like i didn't actually believe that they had darker shade uh, colors but i saw other brands i saw estee lauder like literally all of them on the website and they had darker skin uh, tone but i was like i don't think that they would actually have this but let me just order it and see if they if it would come and i did order it a while back i did order it a while back and it came so which means which tells me that they do have darker shade product for sure the Tatcha. this is my primer that i use for example if you want any of the products on there if you want any products you can literally for that skin you can literally order it on the notino website i also got my um real techniques brushes over there these are the brushes that i currently use eh? and i got it from the notino website i just cleaned my brushes so they look clean now which I'm happy about who doesn't like clean brushes so yeah that's one place that you can find makeup for that skin when it comes to skincare you I buy my products from druggers from Eurocos and from Notino okay one, one of the one of the things that I've noticed is that most of the shops, even all your Korean skincare, previously we didn't have Korean skincare in Lithuania, but now all your Korean skincare, you can actually buy them from uh, the shops. Things, okay? You can order them online and they will come to your house. This this package that I ordered literally came to my doorstep. They delivered it to my home. So you can order from them. Obviously, they're not sponsoring this video. I just wanted to share with you guys where you can find products and not stress yourself a lot. You don't have to go in store if you know what you want. Otherwise, if you're new to, to Europe, just try out try out different products and then you start to figure out what works for you one thing that i say always look at the product like it doesn't have enough moisture if it says especially when you find a product that says deeply moisturizes you know that it's probably gearing towards you some of the brands that i recommend for that skin tone in uh, in europe is neutrogena I recommend Neutrogena, I recommend uh, this Bioderma product that I, sh I showed you. This Bioderma, they have their body cream as well that I really, really love, which I'm actually probably will be getting for the winter as well. Yes, so you can get that. And most of this product that I order, for example, my CeraVe, my CeraVe is probably like more than six months. Seriously, like if it's, I don't remember when I started to use it, but probably over six months, seriously, over six months. And it's almost finished, <laughs> but, and I use it for my body. I put it on my face. And my Nivea, literally, I use just like one pump, one finger swoop. These things last me for months, okay? I don't have to buy all the time. It lasts maybe like two and a half months for me or three months before it finishes. So these things last long as they are. And it doesn't mean that I have to be buying every single month. I know there are people that use every month, but I always put like very tiny products on anything like on my skin. I don't want to oversaturate my skin. I also want my face to breathe. Like every time I put anything on, I want my face to breathe. Even makeup, like I want my face to still be able to breathe. I know someone if you tell me, kindness, you have a very good skin, your skin is glowing, and I do appreciate that. But I just wanted to share with you about, you know, things that I use in for my skincare in Lithuania. Very basic skincare. I have a video. Uh, you can check out my video that I made about winter essentials because we are currently stepping into winter and I know that most of you are new and you want to know what to get. So please check out that video and make sure that you uh, pick up any additional tips that I've shared in that video. These are the skincare products that I'm using. Let me know what skincare products are you, that you're using. Did anything that I see in this video relates to you at all? I would love to know in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.